New innovations in diabetes research could improve early detection and management of the condition. Alexis Thung speaks to an organization that's using a novel method by looking at their gums. What do bad teeth and diabetes have in common? For one researcher, dental treatment could uncover early warning signs of diabetes. And that's even before the disease affects the patient's limbs. If a patient has got diabetes, then they are actually about two to three times more at risk compared to a non-diabetes patient uh, to have severe or perhaps a little bit more at once uh, gum uh, inflammation, uh, which we call it as periodontitis. And so what happens is that for many of these diabetes patients, they may not know that they also have this complication, which can happen a lot earlier. Dr. Chi says patients that fit several criteria, including severe gum disease and smoking history, are significantly at risk of undiagnosed diabetes. By testing patients for their blood sugar, dentists can recommend patients to get a diagnosis. Perhaps for every seven patients that we see, uh, may be a, a patient who may have unknown diabetes. Yeah. So in that sense, actually, uh, it's quite high because a dentist may see more than 10 patients a day, perhaps 20 patients a day. And out of these 20 patients that they see, between 15 to 20 patients we see, maybe two of them may have undiagnosed pre-diabetes or diabetes, yeah, provided you know, they have severe gum disease to begin with. Innovations like these support existing ones, such as continuous glucose monitoring. Researchers from the National University of Singapore also use electromagnetic fields to mimic the effects of exercise in type 2 diabetes patients. This could help patients better manage their condition.